Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to disable the security. Uh, let's create the new project. Um, from the screen, Spring Initializer, using Spring Initializer, you create the new project. If you are using Eclipse, uh, go to HTTPS uh, start.spring.io to create a new project from scratch and use it. Click Next. Group, I would say com.morsu. Um, artifact, just give a sample artifact, Spring Security Disable Demo or something like that. And uh, now select, uh, I would select Gradle uh, for me uh, and then click next. You can use Maven as well, it doesn't matter now. In the dependence, I would choose a couple of dependencies including security. Save app and click next. And finish the project. Create empty directories, use auto import and say click OK. Now in the project you should see the source and you should see the main file, main uh, class Spring Security Disable Demo Application is created and you should see the main uh, function, main method. Um, also you should see the application brought properties which is empty as of now. Let's create a file in the static called index.html which is our starter page change the title to spring boot security disabled demo and let's give it header just to see the text on the page welcome to spring boot application save it close let's close this files Let's open up the Gradle task and start running boot run task. So as soon as you run, this the task will compile the files and make you know starts up the Spring initializer. Spring application gets initialized. Now you should see something. Um, a password will be printed on your console, which is a using default password, which is a basic authentication. Let's copy that password and go to the browser go to the local host 8080 and now you should see something um, authentication pop-up comes up which is a, which uses basic let's use username as user and then paste the password and click ok now on the screen you should see the text this now let's go back let's disable this we don't want this password every time you open up the page you don't want to you know type in copy that password and paste it remember that password or you can change you know, you know there is there are other ways to change the password go to you can use application dot properties to change it for now let's ignore it to ignore this password you got to type in security dot ignored is equal to forward slash star star what that means is anything that starts from the root, uh, let's not worry about the authentication, ignore it. So let's start the uh, restart our console, Spring application, which is a boot run in this case. So again, the Spring initializer is with the same default password, um, but in yeah, right now, since we disabled it, it should not be prompted for the authentication pop-up to authenticate the uh, user. So let's go to browser now. Open up the new page. Set up, type localhost, the same URL which we typed before. Center. Now you should see, you should not see that pop-up come. So authentication pop-up is gone. Now the application works perfectly okay. So all we are doing here, Spring Ignore, is to ignore um, every file starts with root. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for future updates. Please leave a feedback in the comments. You know, I would uh, gladly like to see them. Uh, until next time, thank you. Bye.